Hey, what's up, YouTubers, and welcome back to an updated video of Todd E. Walnut's Disney VHS collection. I have upgraded quite a few titles over the past uh, six or seven, eight months, whatever, however long it's been since I did a video. I was able to add a few titles that I was missing, and I was able to upgrade some to better condition. Some are even sealed. So I'm going to go through two bookshelves full of movies today. I have them in categories of animated movies first. And that consists of this entire bookshelf all the way down to the ground. And then just a little bit of overspill into the second cabinet. And then we get into some of the live action stuff and pardon my my Gatorade I got to keep the old whistle wet while I do these videos so we will get into the live action and then I do have a couple of um, boxed VHS which are not in the traditional clamshells and I'll talk more about those when I get to them a couple of those are pretty rare so kick back get yourself a beverage get a snack light a candle dim the lights get yourself very comfortable and let's go through and check out my Walt Disney VHS collection. Before I get started, I just want to mention um, thank you to all of the newer subscribers that have been subscribing lately. I really appreciate that. I also do appreciate the old subscribers that have been with me for a while. Of course, I appreciate you guys as well. And if you're into these kind of videos, Please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, perhaps leaving a thumbs up if you want to help support the channel, help the channel grow. My goal is to get to 10,000, uh, quite a ways away from that right now, but if I ever do get to 10,000, I will have a nice little giveaway contest to the subscribers of the channel to give back and to show appreciation. So please do consider subscribing if you haven't. Okay, so enough of the talking. I do have these in alphabetical order, starting with numbers and going into the A's, B's, C's, etc. Most of these I have gotten at thrift shops and rummage sales, stuff like that. A couple of them I have, I did order online because some of them are pretty rare and hard to find. There's a couple I know for sure that I'm missing that I would really like to get, but they're a little pricey. I'm not going to say which ones they are just yet. But if you guys are going through watching this video and if you want to recommend or suggest a title that I'm missing please feel free to comment below and let me know. Uh, I did pick up a couple of these little rubber or plastic figurines at a thrift shop. By the way I'm at the Walnuts compound in the great state of Wisconsin we are in the Walnuts cellar. This is the basement of the Walnuts compound. So these are these were McDonald's toys, I believe, from 1996. Let me see, 95, it says on the back. Um, these are little plastic figurines of the Merlin wizard from the movie The Sword and the Stone. I have two of those. If anybody's interested in a trade, if you have one that I'm missing and you would like one of these, com comment down below and maybe we can make a trade. Um, at the very end of the video, I'll show you guys some of the doubles that I have that are also available for trade. So stay tuned for the very end and I'll show you guys the doubles that I have. I have quite a few doubles actually. These are very cheap, very affordable. I keep upgrading too and getting them in really, really good condition. So that's a plus. So the first one is 101 Dalmatians. I'll try not to talk too much because this is going to be a long video anyway. Um, that was the Black Diamond edition. I, su I suppose I should probably explain that a little bit. Most of you probably know. But the very first original pressings of these tapes were called the classics. And these, this is the Black Diamond. This is what they, what they refer to when you hear somebody say a Black Diamond Disney tape. Some people will tell you that these are very rare, but they're not that rare. And they're not that expensive. At least not yet. I can see these commanding some pretty decent money in the future, but it's not going to be anything like people thought it was going to be. 
Um, some people thought these were going to be worth thousands, but I can see some of them going for, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks a pop. Um, and actually, I do have a couple that are worth that, and I'll talk about those as I come across them. This is the same movie, just a different cover. This was the re-release of it called the Disney Masterpiece. So I'll put them up there side by side so you can kind of get a, a good look at the two of them together. The exact same movie, just the one on the left was the first release, and the second one was released years later as a masterpiece, part of the Masterpiece Collection. Disney has always been a wizard when it comes to marketing their products. So, and here's the sequel. This was a direct-to-video sequel called 101 Dalmatians 2 Patches London Adventure. Then we have a sealed copy of Aladdin. And this is a diamond black diamond edition of the movie you can see at one time it was going for twenty dollars I think I paid one dollar or less for most of these movies and a lot of them were even a quarter fifty cents so uh, the next one is Aladdin and the King of Thieves I get that glare off of there um, and then the return of Jafar. I think I have these backwards actually. I think the return of Jafar was part two. I could be wrong about that. I never, I can't remember. I have a hard time remembering that one. I'm trying to look on the back and see when the release date was, but it doesn't say. But I'm sure somebody will correct me out there. The throbbing brain. That is the YouTube commenters. Then I have a black diamond of Alice in Wonderland. Actually just picked up another one of these today. So I do have a double of this one. Very good condition, almost like new. Then I have the gold collection of Alice in Wonderland has that gold banner at the top, kind of a gold foil. And then I have the same movie again. This is the Masterpiece Collection. So I'll put all three of them up here side by side so you can get a good viewing of them. I know the lighting down here is not ideal, so I'm trying to make it work. I actually have a very annoying light that's right above my head, so it's kind of casting some weird glares here so we're going to try to work through that but hopefully you guys can still enjoy the video here glad to have those three in the collection then the next one is a sealed copy of american legends this was also a direct to video movie it includes tales about paul bunyan john henry Johnny Appleseed and the Brave Engineer. Some American folklore tales. Classic American heroes. And we have the Masterpiece Collection of the Aristocats. I know some people have mentioned that my audio seems pretty low, so I'm going to try to speak up a little bit too. It's kind of loud down here because I have a furnace right next to me. And I have a, an electrical panel that's kind of buzzing to my right, so hopefully the uh, audio is clear. Here is a sealed copy of Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I picked this one up at Goodwill for two bucks. Still factory sealed. I thought that was a good deal. One that I was really happy to get. This was the original Bambi Black Diamond, which is still sealed. So I, I do still hunt these down, and I do pick up doubles if they're in really good condition. And I do upgrade some of the ones I already have if they're shrink-wrapped. So I'm constantly trying to better my collection. So here is the 55th Anniversary Limited Edition of Bambi. So I put those side by side so you can see them. Again, that is the Black Diamond on the left, and the 55th Anniversary 
masterpiece collection on the right and they're both sealed so very happy about that it even has the little literature on there the little sticker that says save five bucks let's see it says it expires in 1997 and it says it's let me see if i can get in a little closer here you're eligible for a free video rewards program 1997. Well, i love those little stickers like that especially if they have a date or a year on there it's really cool nice little memento so I have a couple of the Beauty and the Beast movies. The one here on the left, or the one in my hand, is the Black Diamond. And then it was released some years later as a Platinum Edition, Special Edition. I believe the one on the right also has, uh, let's see, it says right at the bottom, an all new musical sequence. So there's kind of a bonus feature on the re-release I guess if you want to call it a re-release like I said Disney is they are geniuses when it comes to their marketing and then we have Beauty and the Beast Oops, let me get that glare off of there this is a really shiny cover this is a special edition Beauty and the Beast the Enchanted Christmas and it was also released I think this was the, the one on the right was the first time it was released because it says at the bottom the all new movie I believe that was direct to video as well and then later they came out with the special edition at least I think that's how it was I could be wrong about that but I'm glad to have those as well and then there was a another sequel and this was another direct to video this one was called Belle's Magical World, and it's three magical storybook adventures. So it's three short cartoons together to make one movie. It's probably an hour long. Let me see on the back. It says approximately 70 minutes. So it's just a little bit over an hour. Then I have three editions of bed knobs and broomsticks, and we're going to show you all of these side by side. So the first one was the first release of it, which I like that cover the best because they give you kind of a full cover view of, of some of the images. It is a live action and animated movie. And then they re-released it and you can see it has kind of a border on there and it kind of, they shrunk the images on the front to kind of fit things in together. And then the 30th anniversary edition is really cool. I like that cover a lot. And that is the 30th anniversary gold edition. It has that kind of uh, gold foil banner at the top. So those are the three editions of bed knobs and broomsticks. A couple more for the top shelf. Then I'm going to take a sip of Gatorade and we'll get into shelf two. You keep moving. So the next one I think is a really great cover. It may not pick up the quality on my phone, but it's very foil-ish and kind of metallic looking. This is the masterpiece edition of the Black Cauldron. And I wish Disney would make more movies with themes like this. Sword and sandal type movies. And then the last one for the shelf one is the brave little toaster to the rescue i have to upgrade this one at some point because either that or just switch out the case because there's a little portion of plastic just from the vhs ca uh, case that's missing there there's nothing wrong with the insert or anything like that so that is the end of shelf number one we will pause it here for a moment it'll be a couple maybe a couple minutes for me but it's going to be a snap of a finger for you and we'll get into shelf two all right, before we get into shelf two, I think maybe this will be a good place for me to show you some of the cardboard sleeve editions that I have of the Disney movies. Now, Bambi 2 was one of the last VHS tapes that was released by Disney because this was also released on DVD at that time. And it was never released in a clamshell case. 
and it was only released in a VHS in a small quantity. So this is a pretty rare, it's not ultra rare, but I mean, it's, it's harder to find than most Disney VHS tapes. If you can get this in a pretty decent condition, um, you know, mint condition or even sealed, you're looking at maybe 50 bucks, give or take, somewhere between 50, 60 bucks for this. So I picked this up for 50 cents and I put it in a plastic case and it's in perfect condition. And I feel like that was a steal for that movie. So that's Bambi 2. Another one that's kind of rare uh, is Return to Oz. Now this one had a couple of different covers. It was also released as a clamshell and it was released as a cardboard slip with a different image. The one that you're seeing here is kind of the rare one of the three that were released. And this is, uh, a lot of people say this is kind of a creepy movie, but uh, it definitely does have like uh, the Jim Henson labyrinth, uh, stuff like that kind of vibe to it. It's, it's a little dark, but yeah, this one is in perfect condition. And that's the one of the more rare Disney tapes I have in my collection. Again, I got that for about 50 cents. Perfect condition. Another one. Uh, this one's pretty common, I think. I don't think there's anything rare about this one, but it was in very good condition. So I grabbed it, and this was called The Incredible Journey. Don't really have much else to say about that one. Um, one that I thought was a kind of an oddity, and this may not be worth much to anybody, but I think it's a kind of a cool memento. This is a 1998 vacation video that Disney would send to potential customers or buyers. Uh, it's a VHS tape that kind of, you, you know, kind of gives you information about some of the stuff that you can expect to see if you book a vacation through Disney. I have a DVD. Um, I, I don't remember what year it was from, but this one's from 1998, and I thought it was just kind of a cool little memento. Again, it's probably not worth much, but for 50 cents, I threw it in plastic. It's in my Disney collection. It, it's kind of a cool little thing to have, I think. It's kind of weird and odd and rare, I think. It's probably not worth anything, but I may never see that again. Next one's called A Walt Disney Christmas. Some of our favorite characters partaking in Christmas episodes, and who doesn't love Disney Christmas stuff, or any kind of Christmas stuff, really. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's a 46-minute movie on VHS. Whoa, that was not good. I dropped it. So That's uh, not good. All right, um, another one's called Babes in Toyland. This was in, like, brand new condition. It still had shrink wrap on it, but it was opened at the bottom, so they were viewing it, but I peeled the shrink wrap off and put it in my own plastic to kind of preserve it. And that's Annette Funicello, classic movie from the 50s, I believe. Or it may even have been the early 60s. Everybody loves Annette. That's everybody's favorite mouseketeer, right? And then I have a couple of like Little Mermaid. I thought this was really cool. It's uh, Ariel's Undersea Adventures. I believe this was probably a couple of episodes that were on the Disney Channel. So, but it had like a really cool foil cover. It was in really good shape. So I wanted to grab it and add it to the collection. And that one features Stormy the Wild Seahorse. And then there was another cool one here called Adventures in Wonderland, and it's kind of a live action. Again, it's probably from the Disney Network, or the Disney Channel, I should say. Um, I believe there was a series of these. This was number one. I don't know how many it went up to, but... These, these are cheap enough. I can grab them, throw them in plastic, and add them to the collection. So let's get into shelf number two. Okay, now back to the clamshells, and the last one we left off with was the Brave Little Toaster to the Rescue. Now, getting into the second shelf, we have the Brave Little Toaster goes to Mars. 
such an odd concept, but it's still kind of fun, you know, a little toaster, a little talking toaster. The next one is a sealed upgrade. I picked this one up. This is Brother Bear. I got this for two bucks at a Goodwill, still shrink wrapped. So I was able to upgrade that one in the collection. Now I have a whole bunch of Bugs Life movies. And that's because they were all released with a different character from the movie on the spine and I wanted to get them all. And then it was released as a gold collection with all of them on the spine. So I'll just pull these out really quick. We got the uh, caterpillar. The flying ant. You know, I watched this movie one time a long time ago and I really can't even, I couldn't even name you the characters to be honest with you. It was a pretty fun movie but I never did revisit it. And I never committed any of the characters to memory. So I do remember this little guy. He was a, a ladybug, but he had a really, was, he was a guy and he had a really gruff voice. He was kind of had an attitude about it. Well, I would too if they called me a ladybug. And this was kind of the villain here. And then this is sealed. This is the gold collection. The cast and crew on the front. Uh, the next one is Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. The adventure begins. The next one is a black diamond of Cinderella. It's one of my one of my favorites in my collection. I think that's a really cool addition. And then it was re-released. If I can pull this out, sometimes there there's a little sticky kind of uh, residue. And they want to stick together but this is the masterpiece collection of Cinderella so I'll pull them out side by side I like the one on the left a little bit better but I think they're both excellent covers and then years later they came out with a direct to video or direct to DVD or whatever I think it was I think at this time they were coming out on VHS still and DVD at that time. But this is a sealed copy of Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True. Many, many years after the original. Here's one that I saw in the movie theater years ago. This is Dinosaur. I thought this looked really good on the big screen. It was a pretty cool movie. And then here's one that I really don't know much about. I think this was kind of... Um, originated on the Disney Network, the Disney Channel. I believe this was a, a show and then they turned it into a movie. So this was Doug's first movie and I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't remember. This one was excellent. This is one of my favorites. I remember watching this as a little kid. And this is DuckTales the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. And I love this movie, it's really good. I have a couple of these. So I do have a double if anybody's interested in a trade. Now here, here's something I chased a little bit. I do have all of the Dumbo on VHS now, and I'm glad to have them all. But it was released on VHS five times. I'm gonna put them all side by side. I've done this before on the channel, but I think it's kind of cool to look at all of them together. And I think eventually this will be canceled just because of the way that the country's going. And if you have ever seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because they have these black birds, the black birds, and they all have African American voices, and they all kind of, um, they kind of portray, they're, they're stereotypical. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Anyway, um, this is the first edition in the white clamshell. I'm really happy to own that one. And then here is the kind of purple and pink font. And it's kind of a padded case. I really love these two editions right here. These are really cool. And these two I hunted down on the internet to find those. And then these three I was able to find at thrift shops. And this is the original animated classic. This is the masterpiece collection and this is the 60th anniversary edition it's all the exact same movie just different covers of it 
different pieces of history of the movie. And I'm glad to have those in the collection. It felt good to hunt those down and get them in order like that. That's the thrill of the hunt and why collecting is so fun. Okay, so the next one is a sealed copy of The Emperor's New Groove. And it was originally purchased at a Kmart for $17.99. I did not pay that much for it. Here is the original classic Fantasia, another beautiful, it's one of my favorite covers. I have several of these too, if anybody's interested in a trade. I have some really good condition doubles for trade. And then here is Fantasia 2000. And the last one for shelf two is a Pixar. Finding Nemo, this was a good movie. Another movie I saw in the theater. So that will do it for shelf number two. Let's jump into shelf three. So shelf number three starts with, if any of you guys follow my channel or if you have for an extended period of time, you know my favorite Disney movie of all time is The Fox and the Hound. I've talked about that many times on the channel. And here are a couple editions of that movie. This one is the Black Diamond, the original pressing of the movie. Love these characters, love the movie. Love the music, the songs that they sing in here. The, it has a really good story to it. And the one on the right is the Gold Collection. And just seeing Todd and Copper on the front kind of fills my heart with joy, and I love this movie. I watch it probably a couple times a year, I, and I have done that for my whole life. So I can probably quote this movie verbatim, uh, word for word. Um, if you've never seen The Fox and the Hound, definitely do check it out. It has a really heartwarming story to it. It's kind of an emotional roller coaster, this movie. It's very, very good. So the next two are the same movie, just different packaging. So this is fun and fancy free, and that's the gold collection. And then this is the fully restored 50th anniversary limited edition of the same exact movie, just two different covers. And I'm glad to have both of them. Another movie I love so much is a goofy movie so you get to meet you get to see a different side of the character goofy who i've always really been fond of as a character i think he's he's a really great disney character uh, you get to see a different side of him with his son max and they had a sequel a couple years later called an extremely goofy movie and these are really fun movies I really strongly recommend a Goofy movie. That's another one that's very touching. They portray Goofy as a very good father in that movie. It's really, really good. And then I have a couple editions here of The Great Mouse Detective. The one on the left is a black diamond, first printing, first pressing. And the one on the right is a re-release of the same movie, just a different cover. I like both covers, but I like the one on the left a little bit better. It shows more characters. It has a, a better color scheme, I think. But these are, this is a fun movie. And the next one, same thing. I have a couple covers of the same movie. So this is Hercules. And the one on the left is the Masterpiece Collection. And the one on the right is the Gold Collection. Same movie, just two different covers. And then some years later, they had another direct to video movie called Hercules Zero to Hero. And I believe this is kind of a prequel to, uh, prequel to the Hercules movie. And then the next one is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And sequel 
the Hunchback of Notre Dame 2, which is still sealed. I got that at a Goodwill for two bucks. These are fun movies. This uh, part two, I believe, was direct to video. Another one I thought was pretty good was James and the Giant Peach. Reminds me so much of a Tim Burton movie. But I don't believe Tim Burton had anything to do with this whatsoever. It's a movie uh, movie based on a Roald Dahl book. I'm trying to see here who the director was. It is a Tim Burton movie. That's exactly why it reminds me of a Tim Burton movie, because it is a Tim Burton movie. Silly Walnuts. Isn't that funny how that works? It reminded me of a Tim Burton movie? It's a Tim Burton movie. I have a couple of the Jungle Book covers. The one on the left was the first printing, the Black Diamond edition of the Jungle Book. And the one on the right is the restored 30th anniversary limited edition. And those are very fun movies. More great music, great characters. Everybody loves Baloo, right? And then they had a direct to video and DVD sequel called The Jungle Book 2, several, a couple decades later, I think. So you can see a theme here. I like to collect different editions of the same movie because I'm a collector and that's what I do. So this one is no exception here. Lady and the Tramp on the left is the Black Diamond. And the one on the right is called the Masterpiece collection another great movie great characters and again with this one several years later a couple decades later they came out with the direct to video sequel called Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure and this one is still sealed in shrink wrap so that's cool I got a couple of the Lilo and Stitch movies. The one on the left is the original, Lilo and Stitch. And then this was one of the sequels, Stitch the Movie. I think there was an, even another sequel. Stitch has a glitch or something, and I don't remember. But it has a sticker on the back, a little piece of tape that says 650, but I probably only paid a quarter or maybe 50 cents for that. Then I have the a couple editions here of The Little Mermaid, and we'll pull those out so you can get a good look at both of them. The one on the left, you guys probably all know by now. I've mentioned it before, and I'm sure most of you knew it already even before I mentioned it. But the edition on the left is the band cover. If you want to know why it's banned, you'll have to Google it, but wait till the video is over and then go Google it. The one on the right was the reissued cover, and these are, of course, this is the Little Mermaid, the Disney classic. The one on the right, they're calling it the fully restored special edition masterpiece collection. But I have several of these now in my collection, and if I ever see them for like a quarter, 50 cents, a buck, I will grab them, and I'll show you really quick, because that's the end of shelf three anyway. But in my doubles pile here, you can see that I have one, two, three, four more. Somebody actually cut one off and put it in a plastic case, but I still bought it anyway, because it still has the band cover on it. And if I see more than that, I'm gonna keep buying them, because I think they're cool. So that's the end of shelf three. Let's get into shelf number four. Okay, now we're starting to get low into the shelving here and it gets a little bit uncomfortable but we're going to make this work and we're going to make it comfortable for you the viewer so you can get a good full video here and see the whole collection um, but the last one we just showed was uh, little mermaid of course so this is the direct to video sequel the little mermaid 2 return to the sea i think that's a great cover have a couple editions here of The Lion King, another great movie, great characters. The one on the left is the Masterpiece Collection, and the one on the right is the 
Platinum Edition Special Edition. It's a little bit dark, so it's hard to see that font, but it looks beautiful in person. It has kind of a black background and a gold foil font. It's beautiful. Of course, it's a great movie. And then there were a couple of sequels. Had Lion King one and a half, and The Lion King two, Simba's Pride. Very glad to have all of those in the collection. Okay, so the next one here is another one I have never seen before. It's basically just in the collection because it, it's a Disney movie in a clamshell. Um, this is Madeline Lost in Paris. If anybody has seen this movie and you want to talk a little bit about it in the comments section, please feel free to do so. Maybe you will persuade me to give it a view. The next one is another sealed copy. This is the 50th anniversary edition of Melody Time. You can see at one point, I was going to say at one point, the uh, Best Buy was selling it for $17.99. Glad to have that one. Then the next one here is called Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, and there are two different covers for this one. And I have them both. The one on the left is the first printing of it. The one on the right looks it looks like it's messed up. It's just sticker goo that's on the outside plastic, so it's not affecting anything inside. I just either have to get some goo gone and gently take that off or switch out the case that's all it is because everything else on the inside is crisp and pristine but this is mickey's once upon a christmas the gold collection on the right so there they are side by side and the next one is called the spirit of mickey i think that's another really cool cover you have the famous three there donald the duck Mickey Mouse and Goofy. This is called His Most Treasured Moments. I have a couple editions of Monsters, Inc. And simply all it is is one came in a clear case and you can see the blue tape inside. Just different packaging, same movie. And then the other one came in a white clamshell. That's Monsters, Inc. That's another very fun movie. And then we have Mulan. And we have some of the Muppet movies, and I do include them in my Disney collection because they are owned by the Disney Corporation now, although they are not labeled as Disney movies, but I do keep them in the Disney collection. And the first one here is the Muppet movie. I have a couple of them, so I'll slide it down and we'll get them all up here. We have Muppet Classic Theater. Everybody grew up with the Muppets. I don't care how old you are, at some point you watched the Muppets when you were a kid. And there's nothing wrong with that because the Muppets are awesome. So we're going to do it like this. Okay, so we have the Muppet movie. These are in no particular order, I just kind of threw them up here together. Muppet Classic Theater. There's six fairy tales. Then we have the Muppet Christmas Carol, which is excellent. I recommend that to everybody to watch that during the Christmas season. And we have Muppet Treasure Island. Again, it's very fun. You can see Tim Curry in there, up there in the corner. And we have Muppets from Space. All really fun movies. I'm glad to have those in the Disney collection. Oops, we don't want to drop any more stuff. So we take our time and do it right. Okay, so now we are over into the O's. So we have Oliver and Company. And you can see that at one point this was a rental. There's a sticker on the outside of the plastic. I kept it on there. I think eventually, though, I will switch that out just to have a nice clear case 
without that sticker on there. If it was a factory sticker, I would have kept it on there. But this is a weekly rental, $4.99, one year guaranteed sticker. Um, doesn't really have anything to do with like a memento or a keepsake or anything. So uh, I'll switch that out. And there's a couple of Peter Pan movies. I'll pull those out. There's three of them to be exact. So the one on the left is the Black Diamond, Peter Pan, first printing. Then it was re-released as a 45th anniversary limited edition uh, masterpiece collection. And then there was a direct to video sequel called Peter Pan Return to Neverland. So those are the three, let's see, don't drop them. These uh, clamshell cases get really fragile over the years. They're almost like eggshells, and they literally will crack if you if you don't store them properly, or obviously if you drop them, that doesn't help, right? So next one is really cool. I, I really love this one. This is Pete's Dragon. I love that cover. I think that looks really good. I like the way it looks on the spine, too. And the last one for shelf number four is the masterpiece Pinocchio, which uh, I'm looking forward to watching the live action Pinocchio starring the great Tom Hanks. Uh, I heard that it's getting panned and people are trashing it, but I don't know why people are like that. But I'm definitely going to watch it and keep an open mind about it. I think it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. So that's the end of shelf four. We have one more for this bookshelf, and then we're going to pop up over here to the second bookshelf, and we'll keep going. All right, time to get low. So this is the bottom shelf. And now we're into the letter P's. So the first one is the 60th anniversary of Pinocchio. I think I'll pull that other one back out so you can kind of see the side by side because we did finish Pinocchio on the previous shelf. So the one on the left, it's not a black diamond, but it is the first pressing or first printing rather of Pinocchio. And then the one on the right is the 60th anniversary. And fun fact. The only Disney princess who was based on a real person? The correct answer is Pocahontas. And we have Pocahontas there on the left. And a shrink-wrapped, still-sealed Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World. Very glad to have those. This one's pretty new to the collection. This is another movie that was based on a Disney Channel show and this was a recess Christmas movie called Miracle on 3rd Street. It was a sealed copy of The Reluctant Dragon. I think that's excellent. Very glad to have that one. We have a couple editions here of the rescuers. Let me pull them all out here for you to see. Bear with me here for one second. So the one on the left is the Black Diamond original first printing. Then we have the Masterpiece Collection and we have a sequel called The Rescuers Down Under which is also a Black Diamond. So those are the three together. And then I have a couple of Robin Hood. And this was kind of fun to track these down to. I got three of them. And I think it actually, I have them out of order here. Hold on one second. So the first one these are hard to explain. These are, this was the very first printing of the movie Robin Hood. And these 
clamshell cases are really thick and heavy and they almost have kind of a padding feeling to them. They feel really good. They're heavy and they're, they feel like they're very high quality. And then it was re-released as a black diamond there in the middle. And then it was re-released again as a gold collection. So those are the three covers of Robin Hood. Okay, so moving right along, because I'm getting a little uncomfortable here kneeling down on the floor, but you guys remember the Schoolhouse Rock? If you grew up in the 70s and 80s like I did, um, they had a lot of great cartoons for one, and then they had these uh, Schoolhouse Rock where they kind of made learning fun by putting like history lessons with music. And so the one on the left is called Grammar Rock, Schoolhouse Rock, and the one on the right is the best of Schoolhouse Rock. And the one on the left is a 25th anniversary edition. The one on the right is the 30th anniversary edition. Very glad to have those in the collection. Okay, so the next one, I'm very happy about this. I just recently upgraded Snow White Platinum Edition to a sealed copy. And I also have the Masterpiece Collection as a sealed copy as well. So I think I had this one first. This one, I, you know what, I think I upgraded this one a while ago, but this one I just upgraded recently. That's what it was. Um, very glad to have those, both sealed. You can see at one point, somebody was selling that for $26.99. That must have been years ago. I have a couple of the Sleeping Beauty which uh, this is one of the rare ones if you guys ever see this one this is a black diamond sleeping beauty it's one of the more rare ones it doesn't mean it's expensive or you know pricey but it is one of the rare ones so if you ever see that one grab it and then the one on the right is the fully restored limited edition masterpiece collection of sleeping beauty and then the next one i have four of these this is one of my favorite disney movies this might be my second favorite behind the Fox and the Hound. And this, of course, is the Sword in the Stone. And these are all great covers. Here, let me switch for a minute. I gotta switch knees. But the first two are Black Diamond. I don't know why or how they did it that way. But this was the very first one. And you can see there at the top is the classics and a Black Diamond. And the second one also has a black diamond. Put those back down so we can take a look at them again. And then the next one is called the Masterpiece Collection. And don't forget, I have a little figurine, a double of it, if you guys are interested in a trade. And this was the Gold Collection. All of these are excellent covers. We're going to pan through and show them again. It's hard to tell which one I like better. They're all great. And then the last two for the bottom shelf. Thank goodness because now I can get up. Is uh, Tarzan. And then a direct to video sequel. Called Tarzan and Jane. Okay, so now I can finally stand up, stretch, and move on to bookshelf number two, shelf number one. And we are continuing with the animation. There's still a little bit of animation left, and by the time we get to the end of shelf one, we'll start with the live action. So the first one here pull it out and show them side by side because there are two another cover I really love this is the three caballeros love that cover and then I have a sealed copy of the masterpiece collection which was re-released years later very glad to have those and we have part of the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh franchise, we have the Tigger movie. I do have some more Winnie the Pooh coming up. 
have a couple editions of Toy Story. This was the one on the left was the first printing. And it was re-released when it hit gold. We have the gold collection. Special edition. Great movies. Love them. And of course we have Toy Story 2. These were the only two that were released on VHS. The other ones of course were released on DVD and now Blu-ray and 4K. But they never did release 3 or 4 on VHS. Then I have a sealed copy of Treasure Planet. Picked this one up at Goodwill for two bucks. And you can see at some point somebody was selling it somewhere for $15.48. I remember when VHS were at the peak of popularity and Disney stuff was selling for 25 to 30 bucks a pop with no problem. People were standing in line to buy this stuff. Now you can find them at any Goodwill and that's even if Goodwill carries them anymore. Some Goodwills refuse to sell VHS, but I see more and more are starting to put them out. And you can get them for 50 cents, a buck. Um, Goodwill has them for two bucks. Sometimes Goodwill has them even more. I think I've seen some at Goodwill for five bucks and I refuse to pay that though. If I can find them somewhere else for 50 cents, why would I pay five bucks for it? But this is The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Um, I would have to say that Winnie the Pooh is probably my least favorite Disney character. If you really even consider, he is a Disney character, but he, for the longest time, he wasn't. He was only recently, within the, like the last two decades, uh, considered Disney. He was purchased by the Disney Corporation, his likeness and all that stuff. Uh, this is the our Pooh's Grand Adventure. I guess I can put these side by side because these were full length movies. So again, we have the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh and Pooh's Grand Adventure, the search for Christopher Robin. Now, I will also say though that these two movies were pretty decent for Winnie the Pooh movies. These were actually fun to watch. Some of these other ones, I'll show you here in a minute. The Tigger movie wasn't that good. And then you had stuff like this where it was just kind of cash cash in on the, the name and the title Winnie the Pooh they made like Halloween episodes and sometimes they made Valentine's episodes and here's one that's sing along with Tigger I guess these are kind of more geared towards smaller children but I put them in the collection just because you know Disney clamshells so I would like to get more of these at some point there's some really good ones out there these are the what does it say uh, limited gold edition cartoon classics this one's called life with mickey these are pretty cool these were one of the or some of the uh, original vhs's that were released by disney these come in a very heavy high quality cases they're much um, much better product than some of the later clamshell although these these later clamshells are really nice too but these are really really high quality there's another Life with Mickey. I have two of these. So one's for trade if anybody's interested. I forgot I had two of those. Here's one called The World According to Goofy. There's one title I'm trying to track down. I, I can find it, but it's pretty expensive. I'm waiting till I can get it for the right price. Hopefully I'll get it within the next couple of months. I've been looking at it for over a year. It hasn't dropped to the price I'm comfortable to pay for it yet, so... This one's called Disney's Best, the Fabulous 50s. And this one's called How the Best Was Won, 1933 to 1960. You can see an early rendition of Dumbo on the cover. This one is excellent. I'm glad to have this one. This is Alice in Wonderland, the very first pressing of it, a printing. Here's one called cartoon classics sport goofy here's one called on vacation with mickey and friends i'll open one of these up so you can see what the tape looks like oh this one the sticker came off i gotta reaffix that on there 
but you can see that it has some serious age to it. We see when these um, 80 looks like 1984 when this came out. Oop, did I just see what I thought I saw? Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought it was uh, Pluto taking a dump. You know how dogs kind of hunch over like that? When I first saw it at a glance, I thought they showed a picture of him taking a dump on the grass. But no, he was, he was tied up with ropes. Okay, so now that ends the animation. So the next four on this shelf and then the remaining shelves are all going to be live action. So I have two of these here. I'm going to show these side by side. This is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, starring Kirk. Kirk Douglas. And James Mason. Peter Laurie is also in here. You can see Walt. I, I really love these cases like this. I think these are really, really good. I'm going to grab some more of these over the next year. And by the time, by the next time I show a uh, VHS collection overview, you guys are going to notice some quite a few new titles, which are ironically going to be old titles. They're going to be new to me, but they're going to be old. So, Glenn Close was Cruella, and I have 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatians. Look how cute that puppy is right there! How adorable. So that is the end of shelf number one for bookcase number two. We're just going to slide right into shelf two here. I have some of the Air Bud movies. I don't know how many of these were made, but I have four of them. don't even know which order they were in. I have the original Air Bud. I have Air Bud Golden Receiver. Air Bud, 7th Inning Stretch, and Air Bud, World Pup. Look at those cute little, cute little buggers. Danny Glover, Tony Danza, and Christopher Lloyd, Angels in the Outfield. That was a pretty fun movie. And I have Annie, a couple of classics here, The Absent-Minded Professor, The Apple Dumpling Gang, that's, that's a good one, The Don Knotts Collection. Here's one I have never seen before. If anybody ever, if anybody wants to chime in on it, if you've seen it, let me know in the comments if it's any good. This is called the Big Green. Here's one called the Biscuit Eater. I've only ever seen this out in the wild one time, and the time I saw it, I grabbed it. I, I never knew this movie existed, and it's old. I think it's from the 60s. I don't know anything about it, but I grabbed it just to add it to the collection. Here's another one I've never seen before, and that's Blank Check. I'm more into the animation for sure. A lot of these live action I've never seen before. Here's another one I've never seen before, and this is um, uh, Cinderella, starring Moesha. Then here is Cool Runnings. Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Robin Williams and Flubber. Here's a sealed documentary about Frank and Ollie. Two of the original 
animators that Walt Disney hired. He affectionately re uh, called them his old men. I think there were, what was it, the eight old men or the nine old men? I, I have this on DVD and I've seen it many, or not many, but a couple times. And at one time I could have told you all kinds of stuff about this, but it's been so long I, I had forgotten most about it. But both of these gentlemen have passed away. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look for it. But um, it is a fun watch, and if you get a chance to watch it, check it out. Here's Geppetto, starring Drew Carey, and um, Elaine Bennis, who was uh, Dreyfus. Um, Louis Dreyfus, what was her name? Come on, I should know this. Julia Louis Dreyfus. Brent Spiner is in here. You guys would know him from Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Ursher is in here as well. And I've never seen the movie. Next one's called Gordy. Got a cute little pig who makes it big. This one was kind of a letdown to me. This was Eddie Murphy and the Haunted Mansion. I've seen it once. I wasn't really impressed with it, but I do need to give that a rewatch. Here's Heidi. A couple of the Herbie movies, and I'm not sure which order these came in either. I was never really a big fan of the Herbie movies. But here's Herbie Goes Bananas and Herbie Rides Again. Part of the Love Bug Collection. And we have a couple of the Homeward Bound movies. So we have Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey and Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. So that's the end of Shelf 2 from Cabinet 2. So let's get into Shelf 3. Hope you guys are enjoying the, the video here. And if you are, please give it a thumbs up. I know all that stuff helps the channel grow. I'm not really sure how an algorithm works or what an algorithm even is. But I know that the more views and the more thumbs up you get, the more uh, YouTube is willing to share a video like that. So that would be the, the best way to help the channel grow if you would like to indeed see it grow. So, All right, the next one, I hate, I hate begging for views and thumbs up, but... Maybe it's just a little gentle reminder, I guess. Um, the next one is called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Starring the great Rick Moranis, and I wish he wouldn't have retired from acting. I know it, it hit him pretty hard when his wife passed away, and he retired from acting, but I hope at some point he comes back, because that guy is a phenomenal actor. He's so good. Next one is called The Horse in the Gray Flannel Suit. Kurt Russell, look how young Kurt Russell is. Kurt Russell collection. We have the incredible journey in a clamshell. I showed it earlier in a cardboard sleeve. We have Inspector Gadget 1 and Inspector Gadget 2. And I have never seen these movies. Next one is a sealed copy of Iron Will. These are fun movies, these adventure type movies. I don't know if this was based on a true story or not. Yeah, it says right here, based on an incredible true life story, a brave young man is thrust into adulthood as he and his courageous team of sled dogs embark on a grueling and treacherous cross country marathon. Together they race through the frozen wilderness carrying hopes of capturing the $10,000 grand prize that will save his family from financial ruin. Next one is the live action edition or version of the Jungle Book. And then they made a sequel called the second Jungle Book. 
Mowgli and Baloo. And then there was another called Mowgli's Story. Tim Allen in Jungle to Jungle, and I love Tim Allen. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. I think he's a genius. I think he's great. I like everything about Tim Allen. And this one is called A Kid in King Arthur's Court. This was another one I have a double of. I bought it not realizing I had it already. Next one's called Life Size. Starring the gorgeous Tyra Banks and the gorgeous uh, Lindsay Lohan, but she was just a kid at that time. So she wasn't gorgeous until years later when she developed into a beautiful young lady. Have a couple of the Mary Poppins movies. The same movie, just two different covers. On the left we have the Gold Collection, and on the right we have the Masterpiece Collection. That's a great movie, some great music in there some of the Mighty Ducks movies. This is the animated Mighty Ducks the movie. And then I have a couple of the live action. I'm missing part one but I have D2 and D3. So D3 is still shrink wrapped, factory sealed and at one time Kmart was selling it for $16.99 glad to have these in the collection at some point I definitely do have to get part one just to complete that the next one is Chevy Chase and Jonathan Taylor Thomas man of the house never saw it before next one is called Mighty Joe Young this is a remake of a movie from the I think 40s or 50s. The next one's called The Disney The Miracle Worker. I don't know anything about this. I don't even remember. I think somebody gave that to me. I don't know anything about that movie. Um, I think somebody gave this one to me as well. This is called Disney's Murder She Purred. Uh, is, that, uh, is that Ricky Lake? It looks like her. Oh, Blythe Danner's in here. Cool. That, doesn't that look like... Yeah, it is Ricky Lake. Oh, it says right, uh, right at the top. It is Ricky Lake. Murder, she purred. And the last one for this shelf is called My Favorite Martian, starring Jeff Daniels and Christopher Lloyd. So we'll pause it. I have a shelf and a half left, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so these last two shelves are just kind of partial, partial shelves because I do like to keep a little room to, if I get a, a new movie, I can slide some things around and pop it in. I don't want to make everything tight. So I do have a little bit of space here to play with at the bottom just to kind of slide some things around. Um, I have a couple editions of probably the saddest Disney movie ever, Old Yeller. The one on the left is the fully restored 40th anniversary limited edition film classics Old Yeller. And the one on the right is called the Vault Disney Collection and this one's still sealed in shrink wrap. Both of these are in like brand new condition. Well obviously this one is in brand new condition. The other one's just the same, just doesn't have the wrapper on it. Next one's called Oliver Twist. This one was good. It wasn't as good as the original. There, well, there have been several different renditions. Oops. There have been several different renditions of Oliver Twist. This one's very good, but it's not as good as the original one. Um, uh, uh, Oliver Reed was in that one. Um, so I have a couple editions of The Parent Trap. The one on the left is called the Haley Mills Collection. And the one on the right is called the Family Film Collection. Same movie, just a couple of different releases of it. And then there's actually a third. I didn't realize I had um, three of them. 
Same movie, just a different cover. And I have the remake. Dennis Quaid. He's, he's always a good actor. Dennis Quaid, I like him a lot. I have the Princess Diaries. And the Princess Diaries Part 2. Royal Engagement. Starring Julie Andrews and Anne Hathaway. We have a couple editions of Pollyanna. I love these white cases. I know I mentioned that before but they're really really nice so again we have the same movie just two different covers here's another sad movie uh, sad book too called Rascal and that's uh, Billy Moomy I believe Billy Moomy from uh, Lost in Space fame. Billy Moomy, not Billy Mummy. Um, the Shaggy Dog. Fred McMurray. Snow Dogs, starring Cuba Gooding Jr. always enjoy him as an actor as well I think he's a very very good actor I love this cover right here this is called so dear to my heart half live action half animation starring Burl Ives and here's also so dear to my heart this is the masterpiece collection this one is still uh, sealed in shrink wrap and you can see at one time far more I don't know if you guys remember that it was a pharmacy and more far more selling it for twelve dollars and ninety five cents here's another good another good um, sad story about a, a boy and his dog just kinda like old yeller this one's called Sounder it's a good movie and the last one for this shelf is called Squanto, A Warrior's Tale. Pretty soon you won't be able to say that either because I know that they, they'll cancel your ass if you say Squaw these days. I think if you say Squanto, it's, Squaw is kind of a, uh, a slang term for a Native American woman. And I think Squanto is the same only for a male Native American. All right, so let's kind of, let's see if I can, I'm going to pause it here for a minute and readjust. Okay, I'm going to try to be quick with this because I hate crouching. I'm kind of a tall guy and I, I hate crouching to the ground like this. So the first two, I'm going to bring them up a shelf just to make it a little bit easier. Um, the same movie, just two different covers. The one on the left is the Vault Disney Collection of Swiss Family Robinson. Great movie. I love anything to do with the, the castaways like this, the castaway family. And we just talked about Lost in Space. They were the family Robinson, but they were lost in space. Or if you've ever seen Robinson Crusoe on Mars, that's another great one. It's kind of a castaway type movie. Or Castaway with Tom Hanks. All those kind of movies are really good, and I enjoy those. Uh, the one here on the right is the family film collection, same movie, just two different covers. So put those back down here. I only have a few down here. Next one is called Tall Tale, starring Patrick Swayze. He was another great actor, one of my favorites. That was devastating when he died. He was so strong, too. I mean, he fought it as hard as he could all the way to the end, and he said he was going to beat it. Um, cancer is just terrible. Next one's called That Darn Cat, also part of the Haley Mills collection. Next 
one's called The Three Lives of Tamasina. I don't know anything about that one. Something like my daughters would have liked when they were kids. I don't remember ever seeing it. This one looks really good. It has a great cast. The Three Musketeers, starring Charlie Sheen, another one of my favorites. Kiefer Sutherland, Chris O'Donnell, Oliver Platt, Tim Curry, and Rebecca De Mornay. That is a great cast. This movie came out... Yeah, I'm trying to see a year, but I don't see it on the back. It had to be in the mid-80s, maybe? Late 80s? I know I can easily check on Google, but if anybody wants to chime in with that, let me know. Here's Tom and Huck. Here's a day at the Magic Kingdom. This is another kind of a, uh, I guess like an uh, attraction. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? They're trying to entice you to, to book a vacation and I'm kind of drawing a blank just now, but uh, it looks like at one time they were selling it for 19.95. It's only 30 minutes. advertising for the theme parks. Next one's called The Walt Disney Story documentary about the great man himself. 25 minute documentary in black and white. Looks like it's about Walt and his brother Roy it says on the back. And a couple more here we have Whispers, An Elephant Tale, and White Fang 2, Myth of the White Wolf. So we'll do kind of a recap really quick. Let me get up and stretch for a second here. I'll just kind of do a little recap here so you can see the titles again. I don't know if I'm going to do this with all because I'm noticing that the glare is not the greatest. But yeah, I didn't count how many I have, but I, it keeps growing. And even if I don't add a new title per se, I try to upgrade the quality of the ones I have already until eventually everything's going to be like brand new. So I did tell you I was going to go through some of my doubles, and I'm really not going to have time to do that in this video. But I do have, these are all doubles here that you're looking at and then some because there's some behind this there's another couple of stacks behind this but if there's anything you see here that tickles your fancy and you want to trade for something I don't have it doesn't have to be a VHS or it could be a DVD blu-ray whatever you it doesn't have to be Disney even if you have a VHS that you you're willing to trade for some of this that you're looking for your collection just let me know I have a couple more over here, some of the live action. These are doubles. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope that uh, it provided some entertainment for you. And hopefully we can make a trade because I'm ever trying to grow my collection. So take care. Leave any comments down below. And just know that I appreciate you watching. And I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.